All right, I'm super excited to talk to Bruiser today. This is a follow-up from his dream building um, session from about 30 days ago. So uh, Bruiser shared with us his big dream, and that is to make a big impact, to help people live their authentic selves, to support people who want to have an epic adventure, and to really um, you know, make that big impact that he desires to make. And over this 30 days, he and I have talked a couple times, but we've mostly been communicating through a journal back and forth. And, you know, he shared with me, you know, kind of what he's, what actions he's taking and what, um, what he's doing as far as tapping, because we're using tapping, the emotional freedom technique to help release those fears that come up as we move forward when we step into our dreams and bruiser let me know do fears come up when you're stepping out there <laughs> yes <laughs> they do <laughs> oh my god oh yeah it's like, yeah it's like it's almost like it's almost like it's non-stop when you're when you're trying to leave your comfort zone yeah, that's a good point. So, um, you know, he's here today just to kind of share his journey over the 30 days. And we're here to celebrate his journey with him because um, this is important for us to, I think it's, I think it's important for us to chunk down our big dream because for so long, I've had these like, just these huge dreams that, you know, I'm going to be, you know, making this huge impact and doing all this stuff. And then I freeze because I'm like, how am I supposed to reach like millions of people? Right. <laughs> and so what we do is yeah. we, we start with a few people and then we start with, you know, then it expands to hundreds of people and then it expands to thousands of people. Right. So as we expand, our impact expands and it, so we don't do it all at once. So I think it's really cool to kind of chunk it down into these 30 day, um, you know, periods that we can, you know, step back at the end of this 30 days and really think about, okay, well, what did we accomplish? What was our, what were our obstacles? So go ahead, um, Bruiser, uh, jump in here and let me know um, what, can you think of some, like, maybe two or three things that you, or more, it depends on how, how much you have, that you felt like you re could really give yourself a high five for? I think I think the number one action, Joanne, that I that I could that I could say was was a huge step forward was was my Facebook friend meetup in, uh, in in the middle of July when when I met up with with fellow dream builder Jamie Maine. Yeah, who, who you have your <laughs> who you have your follow up with in the next couple of days but we we met up in philly the one afternoon and you know we uh walked around the city a little bit we uh we we got we got cheese steaks we uh took a few pictures and then for about the entire time like like four hours like the four or five hours that we had that we had spent together i think it was four hours you know about Three, oh, three plus hours of that was just outright chatting about, about, about our lives, what we want, what, what's working for us, you know, what, what, what fears, you know, you know, we, we just really talked about the stuff that, you know, you really can't, you can't talk about with most people because most people most people either don't have dreams or they, or they've shelved their dreams or they don't want to talk about goals in life. They don't want to, they, they just, you know, a lot of people just, they, they think small and, you know, and unfortunately that's their, that's their conditioning. Mm -hmm. But I was actually able to, and, and, and I'll tell you this, when I, when I would go out, if I was out, for four hours, I'd probably be chatting for like twenty minutes in in a previous social setting. But being able to chat for three hours on 
Yay. On, on enjoyable, yeah, on stuff that I actually enjoy was, was huge and made me, and made me realize that yes, there is, <laughs> there is something awesome when you, when, when you actually, when you actually do, when you actually do some, something, actually take action. Yeah. When you take the action. Yep. And, and not, not act all scared. Cause I've been, I've been guilty of that for too long and, and actually having that, having that meet up was just, was just that fantastic to be that's, able to, <laughs> to be able so to. Great. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, um, in the past when you had, you know, conversations with people and you said, you know, out of a four hour period, you might talk for 20 minutes. And, and this time, you know, you guys really had this, you know, connected conversation and you shared and she shared and all that stuff. Um, do you think it's because of just social awkwardness or, in, you know, the introverted sort of more, um, you know, personality, or do you think it's because you were able to really open up and share on a deeper level with someone or maybe both? I think, I think it's a combination of a lot of things like the, the, intro, the, the introvertedness. Um, I don't want to put too much emphasis on that because I don't mind a social social setting although i am more introverted than extroverted mm -hmm. but i think it's i think there is a bit of social awkwardness in there and it's also it, it's also yeah it's it's tough for me to really open up with just with just anyone and mm -hmm. you know in in my <clears throat> in my previous chapters of life it was it was so afraid for me to open up about just about anything because I felt like my life really, really didn't have a lot of, in, a lot of interesting experiences that, you know, I could just talk about with people because it was, mm -hmm. I think there's just like a real disconnect with, <laughs> with my friends and I, or even, even my family and I, and, and plus a lot of, a lot of where I hung out, like the, personal personal development the goals the dreams you know the big st the stuff that really that really means something they just aren't fit for for places like going out to bars and just uh yeah. right yeah and yeah and just and parties and things like that and and also i think the fact that i don't i, I don't drink and i kind of feel like even though i've been told otherwise i feel like the fact that i don't drink i think sets me apart from <laughs> from other people and they i think yeah i think they just connect more with the with the drinkers because they drink themselves yeah i, I mean i can a, see that it's a yeah it's a it's a basic aspect of human nature we we are gravitated towards similar equality similar qualities yes mm -hmm. absolutely so that that's really awesome so not only did you have this connected time with her but you actually did travel to meet her right and so part of your whole goal yeah. is to have these <laughs> adventures and so that was a real adventure for you then yeah yeah I drove about two hours from from my home to to get to Philly and which which made for a great blog post um about about road trips and Facebook friend meetups. I, I have an I'll have another blog post coming up about the mindset of of the Facebook friend meetups. But for now it, you know it's it's a you know I'm I'm very happy with the blog post. I, I it is not it is not up on my website yet. Um, okay. I am going to share it with Jamie before I. Uh, okay. I know you're asking about that in the journal, but yeah, it that is something I want to I want Jamie to look at it before I put it up and uh, 
because yeah. she's she's in it, and I think she's it's only fair it. to to show her first. Yeah, that's really awesome. That's very considerate. And if um, so, I went ahead and checked out your first blog post that was in the category of travel, and I loved it. I loved it, and I want. Um, I would love for people to read it. It's at bruiserbrosey.com. So it's B-R-U-I-S-E-R, Brosey, B-R-O-S-E-Y.com. And it really talks about um, your, your hesitation to travel, you know, and your fear about traveling and, you know, why you've decided to embark on, you know, now traveling. Like, this is what you're doing. This is one of the things that you're um, not only coming into with your own life, personally, but also professionally, right? So you're helping other people travel, right? And have you, have you given some thought and maybe you can share this now or, or maybe not, but have you given some thought to who the people are that you want to travel with so that whoever's watching this um, may be able to identify themselves with, with that person or with you? <laughs> Yeah, my uh, and even when I and even with I, I think my target market when it comes to my business, I think it's really the target, the target, the the people I, I really look for in my life. Even though it's not limited to that, but you know, it's like the millennials, and the Xennials, you know, the the twenties, the thirties, the forties, you know, just people who who want to live an interesting life and, and are not, and are not willing to be bogged down by the typical expectations of society that, you know, you, you know, we're conditioned to go to college, get a job, have a family, retire, retire at 65 and, and be great and be, and be grateful for it. And it's like, well, while, while I, while they're right about being they're being grateful aspect of it you know what what good is working for 40 plus for working for 40 45 years of your life when you're when you're only when you only get to and then only get to enjoy it for about 10 years after that 10 yeah. 15 years it's like we should not have to we should not have to put our lives into working like 70 percent of our lives to only and to only enjoy it for yeah for a for a few years we should be we should be able to enjoy we should be able to enjoy life for 40 50 years yeah and, i know and really fine and fine yeah like we don't like life is short we don't have a ton of time here on earth, you know, mm -hmm. you know, six, like 50, 60, 70, 80 years, 90, a hundred, you know, however long it is, we should, we should be able to enjoy it. Not, not put up with, not, not put up with the bullshit of having to work. Yeah. Well, I have to say, um, to I have, I have told my husband this several times that I really just want to, I don't ever want to retire. I just want to keep on doing what I love doing, you know? And I think that's what you're creating for yourself is like, you're setting up a lifestyle that you want to live until your last breath. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not about trading your time for money so that you can do something later. It's about really living the life, living the life that you want to live now and continue to live that for as long as you live. So I think that it's, I think there's a lot of people that will resonate with you in that and that are drawn to the travel aspect, you know, because this planet, and as you said in your post, I mean, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. And if, if we were to live a hundred years, we still couldn't see it all because it's just not possible to, to take in all the beauty. Um, so yes, I totally agree with you. So tell me, um, when you were going through this month and, um, things came up where you didn't lean on tapping to support you in going through your fears and how do you feel that the support of the journal and the support of tapping helped you 
Um, and then, you know, you can actually give me feedback. We don't have to do it on this recording, but you can give me feedback as to um, what could have made it better so that I can continue to improve the program. But um, just, just for recording sake, were you able to, those fears came up obviously, but then were you able to use the journal and use the tapping for that support? I think, I think the journal is, I, I think, I think the journal is an awesome idea because, because, you know, it, it really gives you a chance to really put your feelings down and, and just, you know, talk about, you know, talk, talk about the wins, you know, what joyful actions you did and then what you tapped on. And, and if you do it, I think anybody who does it consistently for, for the 30 day period. Now I will be upfront with just for, just for those who are watching this and are thinking about doing it in the future. Um, from my experience, I, I did not, I did not tap every day. Um, I, uh, I, there are days that I ended up either forgetting to tap or, mm -hmm. you know, I got into a habit of doing it at night and I ended up getting, I ended up getting tired and you know, I just ended up, I just ended up like falling asleep and waking up like, like <laughs> I, yeah, I fall, I fall asleep. I don't even fall asleep on my bed. Sometimes I'll fall asleep for an hour, hour or two on the uh, recliner across the, uh, across the upstairs in the loft. Um, it just, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's a, it's a habit. I want, it's a habit. I want to break. Um, but that's for, that's for another time. Um, but yeah, if you do it for 30, if you do it consistently, I, I think, I think you'll really notice a lot of pattern patterns. <laughs> and I think, I think you'll see. And I think when you're able to stack the wins from 30 days, you'll really see how far, how far you come. And, and instead of beating yourself up for what you, what you didn't accomplish, which, which we're conditioned to do, like we're conditioned to be hard on ourselves. Yeah. When, when you can, when, you know, this journal gives you the chance to give yourself a lot more, you know, to love yourself more, to give yourself a lot of self love and a lot of just, just a lot of compassion for yourself and just, just, Think about the positives instead of instead of instead of dealing with with the negative thoughts, which you know we you know when we're going through a, when we're going through a transformation. I'm still going through a transformation. I'm still having to deal with negative thoughts from my past. You know, it it keeps coming in there, and you know, it's, sometimes it's it's tough for me to get them out of my mind. And I just love the fact that. You know, we have this journal. I want to. I actually want to continue. I want to continue using that journal. I know. I. I know. I slept over the weekend, but well, <laughs> I want to continue. I'd love to continue using that yeah. journal. I. You know. I. I appreciate you sharing your. You know that honestly that you didn't do every single day, and and I think that you know doing it every couple days is is still effective because again you're recording those. Um, those milestones, those, those joyful inspired actions that you've taken, because not only did you meet up with Jamie um, in Philadelphia, but you also uh, moved your business forward. You moved your dream forward by creating some emails, by working on your website, by doing this blog post, like you moved your dream forward. So yes, maybe your big, um, you know, celebration is, you know, having that, um, adventure to Philly, but you also did other things uh, to, to move your dream forward. And that's what this is all about, right? Moving the dream forward, because if we're not taking any actions, then the universe cannot help us. She can't do anything because she's not going to do it all for you. This is a co-creative relationship that we have with the universe. So we have to do our part or some of our part, you know, maybe we don't have to do 50, 50, but we have to be out there and we have to be in action. And, and you are, you know, you are. And, um, 
I'd like to go ahead and wrap up this session and uh, I'm going to continue talking to Bruiser a little bit offline because or off the recording because you know this is a journey that you can continue taking 30 day chunks at a time and you know this is an opportunity for Bruiser to to decide whether or not he wants to continue moving forward with me or if he just wants to continue moving forward on his own but I'm going to talk him into moving forward with me because I love him <laughs> and I remember I told you I can't let you go so <laughs> I'm hiring him like. <laughs> all right so Bruiser, I want to thank you honestly for for being the first person to go through the whole dream building uh, 30-day program and for being so willing to share it with me to, and sharing it with other people that are watching and um, you guys out there watching can also do your own dream building program with me and I would encourage you to find the link to do that and then I would also encourage you to start following Bruiser Rosie because he's making an impact and perhaps you need to be part of his mission because he's gonna be going on epic adventures and you too could be going on epic adventures right Bruiser <laughs> totally you know you, you know we all got to start somewhere and you know whatever whatever your epic adventure is you, you know that it's it's not a one size fits all <laughs> you know you, you know that's that's it's the beauty of it's the beauty of my uh of my mission is i want people to be their best authentic selves not the not what not what their parents want of them or what what the what what society wants of them or what anybody else wants of them the 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 journey is about becoming in their own best authentic selves and creating the adventure that they want to and it's going to be di and it's going to be different for everyone i mean th there's a reason why there's se 7 billion people on earth and there's <laughs> yeah and there's and there's every and there's everything on our planet that that we have is because we should not because to love life and to make life exciting we need to have different adventures and we need to support each other's adventures if we're going to make this movement work yay i love that yes all right so please feel free to reach out to bruiser um, i'm sure he would love to connect with you about living your own epic adventure um, feel free to reach out to me if you want to support your own dream. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.